Walker has been taken to a psychiatric hospital after being discovered disoriented and disheveled. Kidder played Lois Lane to Christopher Reeve's Superman in the movies. She'd been missing for three days. Charles Feldman tells us the somewhat bizarre and sad tale. What happened to Lois Lane? That's the question being asked in Hollywood circles about Margot Kidder, the actress who played the Daily Planet reporter opposite Christopher Reeve's Superman. Kidder was found Tuesday, hiding in the backyard of this Glendale, California house. At the time of her discovery, she was wearing disheveled clothes, cast off clothing, and had apparently cut her own hair off with a razor blade in an attempt to alter her appearance. The reason for these actions are still unclear at this time. The 47-year-old Canadian-born actress was last seen, police say, at Los Angeles International Airport on Saturday, where a friend dropped her off. Her manager filed a missing persons report after Kidder missed a flight to Phoenix. Police say when Kidder was found, she said she was afraid she was being followed and said she feared for her life, claiming she had been assaulted. Yet police appear to think it unlikely Kidder was the victim of foul play. We do not feel there has been a crime at this time. And so, the mystery. Eyewitnesses can attest to the state Kidder was in when discovered. I had to do a triple take before I could confirm, in fact, with Mar Margot Kidder, and I've seen virtually all her movies. I hope she gets better, and uh, they take care of her injuries, and uh, I hope everyone gets a chance to hear what she has to say. But the eyewitnesses cannot explain what actually might have happened. A clue might be in Kidder's past, though. She soared to great heights in the Superman films, only to plummet following a car accident that left her in pain and heavily in debt. She told People magazine in 1992 that her mind at times was muddied by pain pills. Her Superman co-star, Christopher Reeve, has also had a rendezvous with tragedy. A horse riding accident has left him paralyzed from the neck down. And now, Margot Kidder is reportedly undergoing psychiatric evaluation at this medical center. Charles Feldman, CNN, Los Angeles. Kidder's home is in Montana. Her family is with her tonight as investigators determine whether Kidder was really the victim of a crime. The Stratosphere Tower and Resort opens next week. Monday's the VIP party. Tuesday it opens to the public. But you don't have to wait that long to get a close-up look. Tonight, Mark Bradshaw takes us on a guided tour. It's like a spaceship sitting on a launch pad. And the countdown for the grand opening of the tallest building west of the Mississippi is T-minus six days and counting. One look at the Stratosphere Tower and Resort, and it brings out the oohs and ahs. I'm excited. I'm going to be the first ones up there. Can't wait. Right now, we're at ground zero at the Stratosphere. Let's take a quick look to see how it's progressing from the bottom to the top. In the casino, many of the 3,000 Stratosphere employees, like these cocktail servers, are getting some last-minute training. If you guys want to use straws, you put them in to identify your drinks, that's okay. And 1,500 construction workers are battling the clock. It's always amazing how these big projects come through in the last minute. But what sets a stratosphere apart from all the rest begins here at the elevator. The ride to the 12-story pod, about 900 feet straight up, takes only 30 seconds. Sure beats taking the stairs. Up yes, here, there are right not coming. one, not two, Make but three wedding chapels. Why this truly is a special day for you. Actually, it's only practice for the special day. There's also a revolving restaurant, one of seven restaurants of the Stratosphere, and two observation decks that provide breathtaking views of the valley. Oh, we might mention there are a couple rides up here a thousand feet off the ground, the highest roller coaster in the world, and the world's highest thrill ride that takes you 160 feet up in just two seconds. They were practicing that as well. That was awesome. It was great. Was that bad? No, it wasn't bad. It was like bungee jumping. Mark Bradshaw, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Bungee jumping, yeah, right. It's like bungee jumping. Yeah, that's another thing I don't do. <laughs>